I'm sure you probably come across clients that have direct experience, maybe past experience with the social work profession or other mm-hmm. social workers in the past, and they felt like they haven't been treated well. Does your approach change with them at all? I, I want to say no, but to an extent it does. Um, just like knowing their history or, you know, them sharing that blatantly sometimes, like, I don't like social workers, I don't trust you guys. And for me, it's like, I, I get it, you know, kind of trying to understand their story, understanding, you know, like the history of what they've gone through. And for me, it kind of creates that empathy piece of like trying to, you know, navigate this new, because whatever situation I'm walking into with them is a new beginning. That's how I kind of phrase it to them. And and the situation I'm thinking of is with um, youth. When I worked in a, a group home setting, So it was kind of different um, in the sense that I wasn't the only staff they were used to, but I was new to them. So they had a general perspective on like all social workers. And for me, it was kind of not necessarily proving that I was different, but being honest with them, I'm like, we all have different approaches. We all have different styles. Some are a little more strict. Some are a little more, you know, relaxed. For me, it's finding something to connect with them on and then using that as like a stepping stone to build a rapport with them and that for me that kind of helped it didn't fully take away his lack of trust which 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 is normal but it kind of helped us to say okay this is our middle ground can we get the things that you need to you know accomplish done from this point on because we have an understanding of each other you know like Something as simple as another social worker would be upset with him if he left without saying, I'm going out. So having him say, okay, can you agree to at least knock on the door? If you don't want to talk to me, that's fine. Knock on the door, just, you know, some indication that you're heading out, you know, creating like those little steps and and everyone's life is different. And, and I kind of approach it in the sense that I've never lived their lives. So for me, it's trying to understand what's easiest for them, but also following the rules, (laughs) you know, that's dictate, as you said, policies, right? That's dictated by the agency that I'm working in. So it's working with the kids or, you know, whoever I'm working with to find something that works for both of us. So like, I'm able to tick the boxes I need to tick, but also you feel like you still have autonomy over your life. you you made it a little bit easier for yourself also to not react poorly and then Mm -hmm. also um, gave him a little bit more autonomy yeah yeah and and that so even like those baby steps and like doing that for a while helped so then he started trusting me you know a little bit more like we would be able to sit down and have conversations wasn't perfect still wasn't perfect because you know teenage boys are teenage boys um but he was able to you know sit down and have certain conversations with me and then I got more insight into his life and I was able to understand him more and then like things that you've read in their charts started making more sense so it's I think for for, for me that's my approach and I'm sure a lot of other people would have you know varying approaches as well which is which is good and I think that's also one of the the upsides to social work everyone comes at it differently so we all have our different perspectives on it and um different expectations as well so how did you develop your approach um is it kind um, of just was it a lot of trial and error or did you find other <laughs> learning I think uh, I think it's uh, no I, I get what you're asking I think it's for me it was learning from people older than myself but also reading a lot and you know just being in scenarios learning from people who are you know more versed in the field but also in the specific jobs that I would do and kind of observing and it's like okay I could do that and then kind of like forming my own little mishmashed version of this is how I social work yeah and I believe me as as much as I know I know there's so much more that I could learn so I think that's also one important piece of social work like it's a continuous learning profession.